Hey guys, this is Imperfect Faith, and um, <clears throat> uh, I had to do a project not too long ago that required me to uh, to actually make some planets um, from scratch and uh, try to put the solar system together, which uh, is quite a daunting feat, um, especially when I, uh, you know, didn't know exactly what the correct sizes of the planets were, how far they were apart, you know, exactly what they, you know, uh, looked like. So I did a little bit of research on the internet and um, actually found this great site that I'm going to put as a link down at the bottom for you guys. Um, it is called uh, Pix Planet Pixel Emporium. And uh, what this has, if, if, you, if you click on it and go to it, you want to click on planets. And um, this is just a great site. Um, it's got all the planets in our solar system. It actually has the moons. It has our moon. It has some of the moons for the other planets as well. Um, and if we click on it, uh, let's just click on Mars, for example. Um, it has all the color maps, um, the texture maps. It has the bump mats. Um, I'm sorry, maps for the uh, f for each uh, planet. Um, and what's cool about the the color and the bump maps is that you know you can, you can put the color on there and put the map on there to make it look exactly like the planet. Um, but if you're really looking for a realistic planet, you you want to see some depth to the to the terrain features. Um, to make it as lifelike as possible, and that's kind of where the bump maps come in. Um, these bump maps, uh, and I'll show you how to do it in a few minutes in Cinema 4D, but uh, they actually, you know, will make the mountains come up a little bit, make the valleys go down, um, and you'll 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 be able to see realistic features um, on the planet's terrain, which is which is really cool. So, and this is all. Um, I mean, I I think you you can buy the larger um, maps, but the uh, the smaller ones are. Uh, are free, are free for you to download. So, um, for example, this one for Mars has a uh, has the color map, has a normal map, has a topology map, a color map, and a bump map, and also has actually this actually has the um, the moons that surround Mars um, actually as Cinema 4D files that you can download, which is really awesome. So, um, but you know each each planet, um, and what's cool is that like if you go to Uranus you'll see that it actually has the ring color maps as well. Oop, I clicked on it, it wants me to save it. I'm not going to do that because I already have it. But um, uh, you can actually make the rings um, in Cinema 4D as well, and they and they look really, really lifelike. Um, so this site, and again, I'll put a link to it at the bottom in the More Info tab and uh, uh, below here, below the video. But, uh, you know, a bunch of great texture maps, um, color maps, and bump maps um, to give you just a, a realistic... Uh, looking planets in your solar system and uh, what's cool about the earth map is that you get a, a regular color map and bump map um, you also get a, a specular map um, you know kind of how the light is going to hit it and where the light's supposed to go you, you also get a city lights map which is awesome because um, and he's actually got a few tutorials here on the site where you can um, uh, use the city lights map so it would be like looking at uh, earth at night um, where the light side, where the light, where the sun would hit the earth, the lights don't show up, but on the dark side of the earth, the lights would actually show up and shine, which is really, really cool. And that, you, you want to check that tutorial out. I think there's a, yeah, tutorial section. You just want to click on that. And there's a t tutorial section which will uh, walk you through how to um, make the rings for, like, Saturn and Uranus and all that. I, I'm not going to go into that because that would take a long time, but, but they're all here on the site. Um, so if you want to make some, some realistic-looking planets in the solar system, no matter what your project might be, um, this is a great, great site with a lot of uh, great resources for you. So let's hop back into Cinema 4D, and what I want to do is just um, show you what I what I've had made here. And I saved this as a project file. I basically made all the planets. I put them all close together to one another, just so when I open up the file, I have them all there. Um, for the project I did a while back, I actually you know studied how far they were supposed to be apart and tried to tried to uh, space them distance-wise apart, um, you know, in scale from one another. Um, but uh, but this is how I have them all saved in here. Um, have all the planets and all the moons to all the planets. And if we take a look at this, um, just in the rendered version, you get to see the, the realism of it. Um, you'll get to see that the I have a light in here that casts shadows. Um, 
and I actually created a sun in here too, and I'll show you that in a second. But but the but the light hits the uh, the planets, and you can see that there's a light side of the planet and dark side of the planet, just like you would experience in real life. So these planets are uh, some of the most realistic and lifelike planets I've ever seen um, for someone that wants to put a project together and, and do it from scratch themselves and uh, make it look you know like something you might see out of NASA or something. It's really it's really a great uh, it's really uh, that site, that planet Pixel Emporium, really makes it easy to make these things look great. So, just real quick, um, I'll walk you through how to do one from scratch here, just one planet, but I want to just open up one of these um, uh, materials that I put together with the maps in it and just kind of walk you through um, one of them and show you kind of what that's all about. So, I'm going to zoom in here. Um, let's do, let's do uh, Mars. Uh, or you know what, let's do Venus, because Venus has a moon as well. So I'm just going to zoom in here just a little bit, and uh, move around, and uh, and we'll just take a look at that real quick. Okay, so, so basically you're going to get some distortion here on the sides just because I have them so close together, but um, basically what we can do is turn the Earth off so we don't see it and we will turn Mercury off so we don't see it. So that all we're looking at is uh, Venus here. Oop. So we'll pull that in and I'll render that again and uh, you can see right away how realistic that looks. Um, so let's open up that uh, let's open up that material and kind of take a look at how that how that worked with Venus. So I'm going to go down here at the bottom left where I have them all stored and named. You want to keep track when you're when you've got when you're working on so many things at once, or else you'll lose track of what you're working on. So as we open up this material editor, we see that the color is just the color map. So basically, when you open this up, you click here, and you would go to wherever that file for the color map is stored for the planet, and just bring that in. Um, to be honest, you don't really want to mess with the brightness, the mix strength, and all that stuff for this because these these color maps are just great that the, the way that they are actually. Um, now here's where we build some depth. So what you want to do is go to bump. You want to make sure that that's checked. Go in here, wherever your file for the bump map is stored. Double click on that. Now um, you'll see the strength indicator here. You want to move that uh, up or down depending on you know how how pronounced you want that you want those features on the terrain to be. Um, I have mine for for this planet set at uh, 20 percent, which which as you can see here, let me just get out of here and oop, bring this in a little bit. You can see that you can still see um, a lot of the features, um, and you can see some depth to the features. You can see where the where the the hilly parts are and the valleys are, and even some scarring on the planet as well. And up here on the moon, you can you can see it as well. Um, so you know you might want to mess around with each one of those for each planet to make it either more pronounced or less pronounced, but that's but that's really up to you. Um, what I did also is put a little bit of glow on this because usually planets have atmospheres. Um, if we were to take off the glow, I'll just show you what that looks like, and we'll go ahead and do that. You're not going to get that that atmosphere. You can see that the planet still looks good, but you don't really have that atmosphere, that hazy atmosphere around the planet. So um, what I did is click glow. I went in and kind of messed with it, and I found that a pretty good level for, for all of my planets for this glow was to make the inner strength at 30% and the outer strength at 200%, the radius at 7 um, because I found that any any greater or less than that, the greater you get, it just becomes like it's a, a it's a glowing orb, um, something that you don't want because we want to keep this realistic. Any less than that, um, as you saw before, it just kind of you can still see the definition of the terrain and all that stuff, but it really doesn't look like a planet would naturally look um, in the solar system. So uh, that is, I mean, that's pretty much it, it's pretty easy really. Um, so let's just do one. Um, let's uh, zoom in here. Well, let's first of all, what we want to do is we want to make a sphere. So we're going to bring in a sphere here. I'm going to move this back because what I want to do is zoom in here so that we're just going to we're just going to deal with this one sphere here for a second. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer to us here. And now let's take a look at that just as it is. So as you can see, we rendered out. It's just a regular sphere. You're still getting the the, the lighting, because I actually put a light in the scene, 
um, and how you put a light in the scene is you click here, you're going to go over to light, doo -doo -doo, and you're just going to drop a light in there. Um, and as you can see my light, if I go over here, I'm going to click, I have it set at 100%, it's an omni light. Um, actually, I did not um, cast any shadows on this because uh, you basically just want to light the portion that's facing the light and, and to be dark on the other side of the planet, so you really don't need that. So, what we want to do here is we want to go to new material, okay? And then we want to double click on that mat. And what we want to do is go to color. Going to go to documents. We're going to, if I can remember where I put this stuff. Uh, we're going to go into stills. Um, we're going to go into planets and clouds. Let's do, uh, let's do Mercury, sure. Um, let's use the color map. And, uh, Let's also go in and do the bump while we're at it. We'll go in here, do the bump, yes. And because I know what I want the glow to be, which I believe is 30%, 200, 7, um, from just toying around with it, um, let's, let's try that out. Let's put this mat on it, and then let's uh, render this out and take a look at that. Okay, so, oh. okay, so, I got to get off of this here, hold on guys, okay, so what we have here, and we, I'm going to turn it a little bit, just so we can see part of the dark side of the planet as well, and then bring that in like that, there we go, and then we're going to render that out, and now look how realistic that looks. You have a small, you have a little bit of glow, you have the light coming in from the side, and you, you can't see the back quarter of the planet because it's, it's, it's dark. Um, so, I mean, it's just that easy um, to make these realistic planets, which is just awesome. So, um, I am going to get rid of that sphere. And then, I'm coming back out here. If I can remember... Um, so the sun basically is the same thing. You want to, if we can create a sun real quick here, um, you got to toy with the sun a little bit more. Um, let's go in here to the color map. Um, uh, okay. Um, extra videos, there we go. Okay. Planets. Um, go into the sun. Okay. So you bring that in, and... Um, what you're going to get is, is that color. You, what, what you really need to mess with here is the glow. You probably want a more pronounced glow on this, so you can't really see the features as much. You'll probably be able to see some of the dark spots on the sun, but you really want to ramp up that glow. And then what I did is I put the, I mean, there's different ways you can do this, but I was trying to get away from using global illumination because it takes so long to render. Um, I actually put the, the light that I put into the scene right next to the, uh, the sun because you don't actually see the light, but you see the effect. So from whatever angle I move the planets, that the light is hitting them from the point of where the sun's at um, to try to make that realistic as well. So... Um, that is just kind of a brief overview, just a very quick tutorial along with some resources on how to make some really cool planets. Um, what I did um, when, I, when I was working on the project is um, I went ahead and added a camera in here. Um, and the cool thing about this is you can actually, uh, you know, fly through, the, fly through the rings, fly around the uh, planets. You just have to keyframe those. So we, we have our camera right here. We go into cameras. Um, uh, let's go into editor camera. Let's move that around. Let's say that uh, we want to look at. Uh, let's say we want to look at Jupiter. Let's pull this back a little bit, and let's get an angle here that we can see. Okay, so let's. And if we look, if we go to our camera view, we're really close up there on Jupiter, but we can actually um, go back into the editor camera view and uh, move this around. We can we can put a keyframe here, move forward 60 frames, um, move this closer a little bit, move this over, and uh, kind of twist this camera, and um, let me get a better angle here, and kind of move this over to the dark side of the planet, and come out a little bit, and then set a keyframe. And then if we go back to the beginning, and 
go back into our camera, we can kind of see what that what that does. Kind of, see that move there? It kind of flies by and kind of moves around that planet. So there's a lot of really cool things you can do with camera moves and to get some, you know, realistic uh, looking planets in the first place. Um, so I hope this helped you guys. And if you guys have any projects that you need to do with planets, um, I think using Cinema 4D and uh, going to the uh, uh, JHT's Planetary Pixel Emporium site is a good move. And um, I hope that helped you guys. God bless you guys. And I will talk to you soon.